Coming into the 2023 season, the UW Oshkosh softball team's best start to a season was 12-0. This year, they obliterated that going 17-0 and are right now 19-1 in first place in the WIAC conference. The key to their success? Pitching. Right now, they're the best in the nation. It's such a luxury to throw out two number one pitchers uh, against anybody. You're never going to get beat you know, by a bunch of runs. So we're always going to be in it and giving our offense a chance to win. The UW Oshkosh pitching staff has the lowest ERA in Division Three, a minuscule 0 0.76. At the top of the rotation is senior Maddie Fink, who has a 0.5 ERA. The girl wants the ball every time we're going to throw in a big game. I, it's, it's hard for me to take the ball out of her hands sometimes. and. You know, that competitive edge that she's got, you can't teach that. Right behind her, helping the Titans sweep a lot of doubleheaders, is sophomore Sydney Nemitz, who has a .78 ERA. She's got this one pitch that I just, I don't know how it works. I don't think she does really either. It is the most nasty pitch I've ever seen. The two are both in the top 15 for ERA in the nation, but they're both quite different on the mound. Maddie is more of like a bulldog. She gets up for big pitches um, and Sid just stays calm and throws the same overall. She tries to keep a very calm mindset the whole time. But what makes their success even more amazing is the Titans don't even have a pitching coach. I'm their support system and that's pretty much all I do. I just sit back, make a lineup and just let them go do their thing. They get some input from their coaches, but most of the time it's them helping each other. I love going to practice with her, just being able to sit in the bullpen and work with each other on our pitches and having that, um, sounding board just for everything. She's been a great role model for me since I walked in, made me feel at home here at Oshkosh, so it's been pretty cool. It's a friendly competition between the two that drives the pair to be the best version of themselves when they step on the mound. The big thing is that we rely on each other. There's such healthy competition between the two of us because we both want the ball and we both want to play as hard as we can, but we know that when we're both pushing each other, that's when we're at our best. And despite getting batter after batter out at the plate and racking up wins, these two Titans are just happy to be playing the game they love. If you ask any of us, sometimes we even forget the record we have because we're just playing to have fun and playing loose, and you can see that in the way we play with each other. The Titans have their eyes on winning the WIAC and getting back to the NCAA D3 softball championships like they did in 2021. Next up, they're at Ripon for a doubleheader on Tuesday.